Iceland's whalers discovered more damage inflicted by protesters today. They set their lines last night, and this is from one catch. She called the park rangers in to make the arrest, and while waiting, kept the crew entertained by lecturing them on how fishing was a crime against nature. You're wrong. You know you're wrong. Funny. Not too funny if I stuck it in your mouth and drug it, would it be? And I'm sure everyone was happy to see the cops arrive. They catch the fish inside the National Park. The Sea Shepherd Society has been compared to a militia. Except instead of assault rifles and grenade launchers, we buy ships. Some big, some small, all disposable. And even a submarine. Not that one. That was just a photo op. Ours was a mini-sub. It looked cool, but it leaked. Ships aren't really as expensive to buy as you might think, but they're really expensive. But what really brought him fame is when he stood in front of a Canadian icebreaker with fellow activist Bob Hunter to protest the harp seal slaughter. The ship stopped, the two lived, and this seminal event is now considered by many to be the birth of the modern environmental movement. Over the years since, Hunter and Watson have risen in prominence, standing in the line of succession next to Henry David Thoreau and John Muir. Hunter went on to become a best-selling author and news anchor for City TV, a Toronto-based network. Good evening, I'm Bob Hunter. Welcome to Hunter's Gatherings. I was in China last week. Watson became dissatisfied with the passive tactics of Greenpeace, so he left and created the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. I came on originally as a TV cameraman for NBC. Liked what I saw.